All right, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Dave's Open Range. Today we're out at the farm. And that's the project right there. This is the uh, little stone building that we call the milk house. I think it was the milk house for a little dairy. And uh, that corner has been collapsed for um, 20 years or maybe 50 years, I don't know. And so we're gonna try to uh, build that back up. I'm no expert mason, but uh, I think we'll make some progress on it, hopefully get it done. And I got a couple of new techniques that at least I haven't tried to fill in some of these smaller cracks here and there. So uh, yeah, it's a nice day. It's um, early June and everything's nice and green. So um, I'll set this up on the tripod here a minute and uh, this is going to be a long job obviously. We won't film all of it, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll get enough of it to do it justice and see how we go. All right, everybody, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I actually took a little bit more stone down here because this jit was loose and bowing out a little bit. So we got a little bit bigger of a project and it's still a little bit loose, but I think I'll rely on the uh, cement and the bonding agent to hold it all together once I get it in there. These walls are about, probably about two feet thick. Um, it's probably an 80 year old building, maybe more. It's almost got an outer and an inner stone wall and the middle is kind of rubble. Uh, that's pretty loose. I'm going to just fill it in with cement bonding agent and um, try to build a face back up in a corner. So we'll see how we go. And uh, we'll film a little bit of that as, uh, as I go. I'm hoping to get this done, but I'm not sure. It might be a project that's not even possible. We'll just get started and see how it goes. I got enough spare rock. I've got some brick if I need to for filler. And um, yeah, it's an experiment. We'll see. Okay, we'll just uh, show a little bit of the mixing here. I'm using the uh, Quickcrete Type S, the green bag, green bag version. And I just got a little plastic tub in my wheelbarrow just to... I don't need a ton of mortar at all at once. I'm going to just use small batches. I'm using this bonding agent, which I honestly don't have much experience with, but I'm hoping it helps, helps things uh, adhere to the helps the mortar adhere to the stone a little bit more tightly. And I know there are special um, cement mixing hose. I actually have one, but it's pretty big and I don't really need a lot uh, to start. So we're gonna just, this is almost like making gravy, huh? If you check my gravy video, once you put the liquid in, you can't get it back out. So uh, I'm just gonna add it a little bit at a time until I get it where I like it. And I'm not near a hose, so I have a couple of five gallon buckets of water. Because this will probably want to thicken up a little bit as it sits. So, we'll see how she goes. It's probably going to be about enough. I want it a little bit on the thin side, especially if I use my bag, the mortar bag. You see, I almost, that's a little thin, gosh darn it. I have, I know I can't take it back out, but I've got more dry material I can get in there. Yeah, that's a little too, a little too much of a slurry, honestly, darn it. So let's just put a little, a little bit more uh, dry mix in there. Kind of like putting flour in gravy, I guess. Let's see if we can uh, thicken it up a little bit. Probably added just about a half a gallon too much water or so. That's okay. A little bit thin because I got some small cracks to get it in. But, uh, that way it can work its way in there.
making making a little progress. I've done this right here in about, I don't know, 45 minutes or an hour. It's a, it's putsy. It's slow, it's tedious, but um, it's it's working. It's working okay. And um, like I said, I've never used a bag like this before, but it is officially a great tool. So I've got some mortar in there, and you basically roll it up like toothpaste and squirt it out. And you can get it in cracks. It's just, it's super handy. I wish I would have known about this a long time ago. You can see I can just fill these cracks much, much, much easier than with a trowel or any other kind of tool. Now I'll come back probably with a trowel or a brush once it sets up a little bit and brush it out, smooth it out a little bit. But how do you like that? That's a great tool. It was uh, cheap. I mean, this bag was six or seven dollars on as usual on Amazon. So um, anyway, I wanted to show you the progress. I don't think I'm going to get it done today because I think it's going to be too much weight sitting on wet mortar. So um, I hope to get, I don't know, halfway up to the sill plate or so. So it's going all right. And uh, we'll check in, check in in a little bit. I've used about a half a bag of cement. So when I get done with that bag, we'll see where we're at. Well, okay. That's one bag of mortar. About an hour and a half or two's worth of work, and I'm maybe a, maybe a half done. That's probably the hard part, that bottom where it's all super irregular. Well, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then get in there with a brush and just smooth it out. And um, that'll clean it up a little bit. And then who knows, I might at some other time come in with a second finish coat or something. But uh, yeah, so I might even start using brick or something because it will be more uniform and it's starting to straighten itself up. So I'm going to stop there for um, maybe for maybe for the day or at least a couple hours to let that set up a little bit because it's I don't want it getting wobbly and so forth. All right, so uh, I'm going to go clean up the tools. One key to cement work is to keep things clean and get it get it rinsed off before it dries up and gets hard. All right, we'll check in with you later. All right, everybody. So this is uh, one weekend after I started this job and rebuilding this corner, and it's done. Um, pretty happy with it. I got up towards the top and uh, had to use stone. Of course, this is like make it up as you go, make it make the puzzle fit. But uh, I'm happy with it. That cement bag is uh, the berries. That thing is a great tool. Six or seven dollars online. Um, bonding mix, type X mortar, and um, a little bit of patience. And um, let it dry a little bit and then shape it and contour it a little bit. Uh, I just used my bare hand, which I don't really like doing because that stuff is pretty, a little bit caustic. But as long as you keep it, keep the exposure minimal. All right, so um, how's that for a... Uh, different kind of thing for the channel like I said you never know what you're gonna find on days open range so don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and uh, we'll see you on the next round